Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Students, uh, today we are looking at uh, the economics uh, paper 2, IGCSC. And uh, this paper is uh, paper 22. Uh, you know the code is 0455. And it is uh, the March paper 2017. So you can see that the case, uh, the study, or you can say the data response which is given over here in this uh, paper was called as low-cost airlines and uh, these are the questions the different parts given over here uh, you can see that I'm looking at uh, part E discuss whether airlines should be state-owned or operated by the private sector the question is of five marks <laughs> I've written a few points over here I remember that this uh, question is a discuss uh, question uh, if you don't know that uh, that the command words uh, there are four command words in uh, economics O levels uh, which is uh, a part a will always be defined or identify uh, part b will always be explained uh, part c will be analyzed and the fourth part part d uh, is a discuss question discuss but in question number one the discuss question is of four five marks maximum six marks and in a discuss question the important thing is that you have to write both the sides points in favor points against so for example if I look at uh, this question over here discuss whether airlines should be state-owned or operated by the private sector five marks then I can write three points in favor and two points against it favor and against what is the meaning of it for example if i say that uh, uh, that the airlines should be controlled and owned by the government then i will write for example i have written over here three points in favor that which the airline industry should be controlled by the government or it should be state owned and what i'm going to write against it that no it should be controlled by the private sector and give my reasoning okay so uh, for example i have written over here uh, in favor that uh, it should be controlled by the airline industry should be controlled by the government or it should be state-owned because there is responsibility involved in it and uh, government will always be looking for welfare maximization so uh, things will be more secured second point is government gets uh, revenue uh, of course uh, with that uh, airline industry ownership they are going to get money and uh, it is assumed that the government is going to use it uh, for the betterment of the other sectors in the economy the third point in favor is uh, about jobs that the government uh, when people work for the government sector they feel more secured uh, most of the time and uh, the government can ensure may ensure job securities and may even reduce uh, unemployment in that way on the other hand uh, we can write that uh, the airline industry should should be controlled uh, by the private sector and owned by the private sector because private sector as you know that will bring in more efficiency and productivity because they are always looking for uh, profit maximization and their profit motive will be there so better quality services can be achieved if it is if the airline industry is in the private sector and the last point uh, which i have written the fifth one and this point is going against uh, the initial statement uh, suggesting that the airline industry should be in the private sector that uh, it, the private sector will bring innovation and in this way the cost reduction will be there that will benefit the consumers uh, and uh, related to innovation and research which the private sector do we always remember the keyword dynamic efficiency dynamic efficiency so in this way today uh, we have seen uh, and how to write down the answer for a discuss question although this discuss question was of five marks so if it is eight marks then you know we have 
uh, more points to be written uh, in against and in favor. Thank you.